good afternoon. Let's jump right back into the Elsit campaign, shall we? Have only one. We have only one scenario to go. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. We were trapped and alone in our kingdom of Valencia. The seed immediately sent out messages for potential allies, but there were few to be found. The Christian kingdom of Aragon was too far away, and King Alfonso of Castile seemed in no hurry to come to the seed's defense. Jerk. Even the seed's old ally, Motamed the Moor, was of no avail. Yusuf had sent him into exile in the Sahara Desert, where he spent the rest of his sad days composing poetry. The Berbers rode around the city for ten days and nights, shrieking and banging their weapons on shields made of hippopotamus hide. But the Cid comforted his troops, prayed and planned a counterattack. And then the unthinkable happened. During a brilliant surprise attack to capture gold and forces from the Berbers, Rodrigo Diaz, my Cid, was shot by a stray arrow. The surprise attack became a rout and the Cid's men barely made it back to the castle with his broken body. Rodrigo and I knew he would not last the night, but we also knew that without their Cid to lead them, the soldiers of Valencia would never have the strength to stand against the Berbers. Sorry about that. The noise gate seems to be acting up quite badly, so I'll go back and and uh, once I fix it, I'll go back and re and play that cutscene again. Hi, guy. Yeah, I noticed. I'm going haywire on my preview here as well. A little better now. Background noise from the bit. Right, we'll give this a try. Anyway, let's replay that cutscene again, because I didn't mess with it. No, oh, damn it! <laughs> Guess we have to. Okay. We were trapped and alone in our kingdom of Valencia. The seed immediately sent out messages for potential allies, but there were few to be found. The Christian kingdom of Aragon was too far away, and King Alfonso of Castile seemed in no hurry to come to the seed's defense. Even the seed's old ally, Motamed the Moor, was of no avail. Yusuf had sent him into exile in the Sahara Desert, where he spent the rest of his sad days composing poetry. The Berbers rode around the city for ten days and nights, shrieking and banging their weapons on shields made of hippopotamus hide. But the Cid comforted his troops, prayed and planned a counterattack. And then the unthinkable happened. During a brilliant surprise attack to capture gold and horses from the Berbers, Rodrigo Diaz, my Cid, was shot by a stray arrow. The surprise attack became a rout, and the Cid's men barely made it back to the castle with his broken body. Rodrigo and I knew he would not last the night, but we also knew that without their Cid to lead them, the soldiers of Valencia would never have the strength to stand against the Berbers. So it was that even as he breathed his last breath, I strapped my husband onto his horse, Fabieca, and placed his sword, Pison, in his hand. Fabieca stood out above the city of Valencia. My one hope was that the men would not realize the charade, realize that their Cid was already dead. Yeah, screw Castile and screw Alfonso in particular. Nothing but awful this campaign. Armies of you. Eat it. Construir. 
Yeah, we're playing a corpse. Oh, right, we should actually send them. Perhaps. That's all the villagers we have. Uh, there he is. My poor Rodrigo. Tis only his horse who lives. But the men must not find out, or they will never have the courage to face Yusuf. Apparently, Vince said we could actually dispatch the north. Guys. I usually Just they must be here because that's the end of the Boy, they actually are already starting up with a trebuchet. Okay. <laughs> Ram. Black man here. So after the. Yeah, well, my, that's my sentences keep getting cut off because my uh, because I turned up the noise gate because we were getting a lot of background noise. So I'll just try and talk a little louder. Of it. No, don't go after that random has. Hey, you should. It takes care of the shade that was active. Uh, oh, nice. Stay out of the castle, please. Um, meanwhile, we should be building up our economy as well. Okay, so 65 is definitely not actual up limit. Up limit to use. So I assume we can get more well, if we build. Actually, have more fishing ships. Fast fire ships, nice. Uh, have them sail around. Oh hey, their castle is down. Imperial Age, so we don't need to. Bolt. I 
think the rest of the time is actually just up here. Uh, any gap? Never mind. So, wood is again, I think, going to be a. Dealt with. Guards. Probably just build a wall like here, probably capturing this gold as well. We have to stone for it, and we're even already out of the castle, so we don't need to worry about that either. Um, obviously. Let me actually go build some houses. Wherever I can fit them in without blocking way too much. I did I want paladins? Spanish captain. I do. Oh, nice. Section may actually not have villagers. Designed yet, so in the sack. Go and build the wall as well. Davis. See? Oh, there we go. Agora, de grado. Yes, off. Uh. Where's my army? <laughs> Just massive scrap with this right now. 
down appears to be right. Yeah, right, I was getting my pins. University, I Chemistry. Should have a mill to stop that. Oh, how did he die in real life? Yeah. Eww, get out of range of the town center, idiots! Now you can eat, can kill the Hussar. Um, oh, we have university, so... Chemistry? What else do we need? Don't. I like bomber cannons. That's the Spanish. Okay, chemistry is coming. Um, we should upgrade our conquistadores once we have 1200 food. Oh yeah. Okay, let's actually attempt very forest. <laughs> Here the monks won't mind us popping down in our little park. Uh, oh, well that's a lot less heroic. How's the story still on the whole all strap to horse horse thing? I know it's a pop I know it's a popular myth about it. Don't know whether it's actually based on anything. Have everything. Oh well, maybe. villagers. Raiding party! I think it's being rushed. not that one, although he is actually being rushed. Um, oh wait, 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 no, what am I doing? I was upgrading that. We have enough though, so... I don't have a gate either, I think, so... What else do we need to do? Right, I was gonna build some hand cannoneers. Build some... Hello, guys. Once the siege workshop is complete, there it is. Bombard cannons. Uh, what else should we be building? Because in the long run, we'll need. We seem to be lacking food. So let's get a couple more fishing boats actually. Uh, oh, we should obviously have have a what's her name? Uh, 
this whole raid here is actually going pretty well. Um, I like, by the way, how they how they made how they made it impossible to move LC because he's actually he's actually not on my team. Different faction called Dead LC. Well, that's a shame. I always like that particular legend. Um, but just because we have enough stone anyway. Oh, uh, also our bombard cannon is just firing into pictures now. Probably not be a good idea to actually do it in in the Spanish. Building more houses. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. But I'd swear it always the most sensible people. A counter argument to that. Uh, I suppose we're just raiding this town now. Bring everyone. Bams to go down center. Hard cannon. Santiago. Uh, another thing we could actually be doing, considering they're Spanish, could be uh, getting supremacy and just going and just attacking them with the villager army. It's a lot of fun. But it's very, it's theoretically very entertaining to do. Supremacy and also sappers. Villagers do actually become fairly strong combat combatant, like not as strong as like fully upgraded imperial age units. Can actually go go with them fairly well. My problem is that their AI does change, so they keep the old villager AI, and you have to constantly micromanage them to actually work as an army. Yeah, exactly. Gun of arc did not make much sense, but totally worked. Uh, what the? Attack the fucking town so they're not walk into it. Rams, but oh. huh? castle. Probably be building a bit of a fleet. Just, uh, uh, hey, Yusuf. What you doing on my shores with your hands? Like a bear. Um, yeah, I should be building some transport ships meanwhile. Because Yusuf is about apparently across the sea. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Defend that gun. Our cannon. Hello, oh, inside. Okay, set fit here. Having more paladins. 
come down on the conquistador race a bit. They're nice, but I don't want to just make mono conquistadores. If we have more over here. Oh yeah, they do. I suppose we ready ship everyone over. Let's idea where you They just got thrown out. Uh oh, maybe don't sail into that. That seems like a dangerous spot. Okay, well, this seems like a fairly good spot for landing. I mean, we'll probably get bad guys on it. Hour of Agony. That's not. Can't beat. But we'll probably send fire ships after them. If we can get a better landing spot. While decent, we still run into some. Yeah, I think. I think every unit, everything gets garrisoned. Garrisons. Hour of Desolation. Okay. It just gets thrown out of things when they get on low HP. Like, it's the same with town centers and castles. They. They also throw out that you garrisoned in MG when they when they uh, get on set of fire quite bad and monasteries with relics as well. I think that spot at the south. Tower of despair. Oh, you're really not improving this narrative of being the guy and you. The that guy here. Oh, fuck. Sail the ships over here and load the rest up there. I wonder if we can load ramps with. I mean, if you can't, I'll just use the board cannon. Along with this fleet, and oh, they're on defense. The okay, great. That one is. I 
imagine we got there last unit at some point. Oh, uh, we definitely need to bring the cannon, you guys. Bad guys have landed again. Uh, here. Giant enemy fish. Attack its weak point for massive damage. Here we go. I think. But we will get in range of the Tower of Agony. Possibly. Hmm. Pretty much. That's. Not to keep eye on it. Hey, fishy chips. Can you please move? And all right. Oh, God. Okay, that's bad. Uh. 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 Your troops. Get out of the way, please. You need to land your troops. You need to land your troops. And you especially need to land your troops. There we are. Oh right, we have a ram full of. Oh, that one. Like them. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Yes. Uh, where's my bombard cannon? Where's my ram? Well, here's my ram. Let's send it to the castle. My bombard cannon. Bomber can die already. Bam. Oh, idiot is in the way. Okay, but. Wait, no! No, 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 no. That's the ram's job. Not actually going to survive doing it. Wait, where? Oh. There they are. I'm in there. Okay, we need to be building more cannons. Um, here, yes. Yeah, it's. Bam is not. That's. Either way. To leave the castle alone until more siege units come. Just going to live here. Yes, by the way. What? Building bomb. Here, actually. Actually, set the flag. anymore. fell out of the world. In 
I built... I, my strategy is basically to follow the civilization bonuses. I managed to get bonuses to gunpowder units, so I built, I built bombard cannons. That trebuchets. That simple, basically. Oh, damn it. How the ship aggro that stupid tower? Hour of agony. I've got paladins in to say those are the nice. Paladins. This guy just Agony sounds like a sounds like a card from Arrow of Devastation. Boy, boy. Or like a, a Hour of X. X is one part of the problem. And Nicol Bolas hurting it. Yes! Attack us with the Rams, that'll show us. Let's put it back again for more. But now we have cannons. Oh, and a ram as well. Yeah, let's actually leave the ram for now. It's going to. Get shot by the murder balls. Cannons might. Hearing it. Uh, no, 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 Please move out of the range of the castle. Get, get out of the way, idiot. Yeah, that's fine. There goes one cannon. Gonna need it. Hi, Klongo081. Uh, this is the final scenario of the LC campaign. I don't know what difficulty. I assume the standard difficulty, because I haven't said it. With the fucking tower, please. Really? You got shot by the. Okay. 
Well, we have another bombard cannon on the way. Here, let's do it more. So it looks like our villagers actually run out of... Which is okay, because there is difference. Oh hey, Castle is out of the way. In case of trouble. Yeah, the unit AI here is not very good, is it? One thing I would like them to have improved for the HG edition. Only one cannon remaining. <laughs> Inside, it inland so that it doesn't fall foul of the ships. But protect, protect, protect! Don't, don't! Where are you going? You're getting in the range of the ships, you idiot! I wouldn't say it's just as bad. It's pretty bad though, you're right. Oh! A cannon! Wait, right, we have another one here. Okay. Let's maybe not be in the range of the castle anymore. Maybe you do you, whatever. Back. More cannons! Of the castle, how hard is it? <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's amazing AI. There goes the cannon. Well done, guys! It's over. Absolutely going to die at some Okay, protect from these friend, let's One cannon remaining, let's just stick it on the next castle. I assume it's going to die at some point to some but hey. Us. 
muscle. Hey, that one is just. Kill it, kill it, kill it. No, wait, kill that, kill that. Shit, there it goes the cannon. So, where did I put my new cannons? Are they still in the way? They get sunk, that's also a possibility. They got sunk. I think. Okay. Who's firing a cannon? I saw a cannonball. Oh, it's you. Uh. Yeah, well, that's. Move inland a little while we wait for more cannons of our own. Dish. Now we can deal with the cannon galleon. <coughs> oh, oh, I see the problem. Uh, shit. Okay, well. Here. Back in there. Closer. And there we go. Safety. Those towers hit hard. They don't attack much, but when they do, they hit hard. Come on, are we doing this with the castle again? Castle, but it's Bing. Wait, what? Oh, oh. Attack, please. Protect. Protect, but you also attack. Hey. Hustle. Why are not listening to me? is just doing its own thing completely. It's not bothering attacking the castle, even though I keep telling it. And yeah, it goes for the Hussars. Hey, more cannons who can do it whatever they want. It's Any more castles, but they do town centers. Let's torch that, I suppose. What? Did they have a ram garrison? Did
Good day, good night. We haven't seen any Janissaries, have we? Even though those are the Turkish unique units and they have a shit. Tree range or something, I don't know. Oh, kill, 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 kill. Actually, that's. They'll kill him. Yesterday I, I had. Yesterday I had an AI attack my villagers using rams. It was. It was very dumb. Still, still actually a little sad that I didn't get to do the villager army as a Spanish. Of course, it's not so much that I didn't have to do it as much as I didn't want to do it because it's so the pain to control because the villagers don't have military unit AI, so it's even worse than than what I'm going right now. Yeah, they're, they're Turks. They're supposed to be they're Berbers, but the actual Berber civilization wasn't in the Conquerors yet, so. They're actually Turks masquerading as Berbers. I wonder what I need to destroy before they... Maybe actually based on villagers. There we hear that. We should probably break. Villagers, oh hi. <clears throat> I actually did it here again. Her hands built down. Maybe destroy their dogs. They are, after all, naval invasion, so it could be that their eyes said not to give up until their dogs are down or something. Desolation, Tower of Agony. It was the twilight of Moorish Spain. The Berber army had been broken, and Valencia withstood the siege. King Alfonso would not allow us to bury the Cid until he could personally attend the funeral. When he arrived, he dispelled all thoughts of interring the Cid into the Seriously? earth. Seriously? Instead, the Sid's body was preserved and placed near the altar of the church, seated on an ivory stool that he had captured from the Moors, clothed in precious silk and holding his sword, Tison, in his left hand. And who was left to rule in Valencia? King Alfonso of Castile or Count Berenger of Barcelona? No. Valencia is mine. It is I, Jimena Diaz, who claims rulership of my dead husband's kingdom. And if the Berbers return to Valencia, it is I whom they shall find commanding the soldiers of Rodrigo Diaz, El Cid Campeador. When they, when, when they said King Alfonso dispelled all thoughts of enduring El Cid in the earth, I thought he was seriously going to just leave his corpse out for the, the birds to eat or something. <laughs> that would have actually been very in character. Um, Alright, I'm going to take a quick break and then I'll be back in a minute. So. Montezuma.
All right, I'm back. So first of all, thanks a lot to I give bits during the break. Who, who donated 45 bits during during the break? Blah. You. Let's get started on Monte. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, eagle warrior of Tenochtitlan. An omen appeared above the forest, in the shape of an ear of corn. priest and knew not what to make of such a sign. I consulted with the seers and magicians to see if another great war was coming, but they answered only in riddles. The gods want more sacrifice was their answer. That was always their answer. Much of our empire of rainforests and volcanoes has been conquered in the name of sacrifice. Magicians tell us that we must make a sacrifice every single day for the sun to continue to rise. It took the relay teams two full days to carry my message the 200 miles to our city of Tenochtitlan. After two more days, my uncle, Montezuma, emperor of the Aztecs, sent his reply. Montezuma's priests foretold that the god Quetzalcoatl might soon return from his long exile. How else to explain the omen? Montezuma ordered my warriors to increase their efforts to consolidate the rainforest between our lands and those of our enemies. We must establish control over four shrines that are sacred to Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Because the Aztec Empire is mighty and constantly expands, we have made many enemies. We must defend these shrines from our enemies in order to prepare for Quetzalcoatl's eventual return. for the I take it nice I might actually be abusing a lot of so so we don't get any cavalry basically that we get people dress up as a Right and turkeys. I hear the growl of the jaguar. Is this a bad omen? That's we jump. Jaguar. That's pretty bad. Sweet, more turkeys. I assume that the uh, the shrines are going to be the ones that tip to you to approach them. Yeah, the Gaia units. Uh, wait. Well, those are jaguars. Down. Maybe actually do something about that. I have only one. Here's a second. These Jaguars don't give a shit about that one dying. I think like maybe that's what it's supposed to be like an attack with the AI of the Jaguar instead of the water. Oh, 
of skeletons. As <laughs> the scenario makers really dumping a bunch of skeletons. Sound being annoying again. I see it occasionally just. Every now and then I just see the, the, the my mic bar just filling out completely. Which, oh, hey, maybe help out. Yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with the mic today. Let me just see if everything is plugged in well. Just be plugged. Uh, wait, where am I being? Oh, that guy probably died. Also up here, apparently. Oh yeah, let me actually... Uh, attack bonus versus other... That's nice. Supporting them with some monks and... Warriors is... Uh, let's get started on boot. Pirates would win. Actually, get started on farms. Get in. Get on the bush. Javelina. Here, I'm gonna make you a farm. Right, yeah.
Paleolithic. That's for the ones. is super long left either actually first once we get walls we want of uh, this got this go We get started. I think that's enough villagers for now, maybe. As far as there is a thing. So once, once we get to the and then we should actually go get to the castle age.
Alright, thanks for dropping by. Here, let me actually listen to how bad it is. It still sounds fine. It's right there. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, I see. I'm actually getting that on my end as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm actually getting that on my end as well. Okay, this is gonna get silly, oh, so let boy. me mute that again. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. It may not just not, it's not connected well or something. Yeah, I know. I can see that happen every now and then. Hmm. Um. I should just try it by reconnecting it. I'm, I'll just quickly restart the stream to re. Take in a couple of minutes. 